Uh, morning everyone. Uh, so at the meeting that we had uh, last week, I mentioned that I'd do a really simple video just to introduce the very uh, first bit of referencing. Um, so that's what this is. I'm just going to talk you through how to reference um, some information that you might have taken from one of the um, module books. OK, so um, I'll, I'll walk you through that and we'll we'll see where we get to with that. OK, so bear with me. So I've got the module book here, book one. Um, I've got my copy of the uh, TMA guidance. And I've also, I've printed out the Cite Them Right guidance as well. So that's, uh, that's the documentation that you need. And the example that I'm going to use here um, is going to be um, as if I was writing for section three of the TMA. Okay, so up on my screen here, I've just invented... Um, some information that I'm going to be putting here about Piaget's, uh, Piaget's work. So um, I've just given an example there, an invented example about um, um, an activity that I might have observed that relates to Piaget's work. Now, what we need to do is show where that information has come from. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm looking at study topic three, because that's where the information about Piaget is. I'm just going to scan on through and um, find the page that we want, um, where I've got that information from. Uh, so here we go. So here's the page that I've got that information from. Um, we've, we're talking here about um, Piaget relating things to their own uh, children, re relating stuff to their existing knowledge and using existing information um, to build that on. And I've put that here in my own words. So I've said... Um, that the, the child has constructed their knowledge based on the experiences they were having um, and uh, and then changing that information. So you can see that I've, I've read the, um, the information that was in the book. That's where I found that information and I've put it in my own words. So what I need to do now is say where I found that information about Piaget from. That's what referencing is. So to do that, I need to put a reference to this study topic um, into my work. So if I go to my um, guide, uh, Cite Them Right Guidance, uh, the last but one page here um, tells you what you need to do to reference different things. So down the side here, it tells you how to reference study topics, reader chapters, etc., etc. And I'm I'm referencing a study topic, yeah. So because it says here study topic, and I'm looking down um, three authors, four authors. So I'm going to look here. I can see right. Okay, it's got one, two, three, four authors. So I need to use this format here um, for um, for my reference. And so it says here in the text of your assignment. So that's in that paragraph, in those sentences. What do I need to put in there? So I need to put the name of the first author and et al and the publication date. OK, so if I look here, I can see the first author is Kathy Hall. So I'm going to put her um, surname and the publication date. If I go back to my work here, you can see that I've done that there. At the end of that sentence, I've put Hall et al and the publication date. So that tells me, tells the marker that I've used this source. I've used this um, study topic to get this information. It's as simple as that for, for that piece of work. Make sure that you include the um, the reference within the sentence. Yeah? So if I, I zoom in there, you can see that the uh, full stop comes after the reference. So that reference relates to the information in that sentence or the sentences around that. If you put a if you put the full stop in front of it there, so if the full stop was um, was here then that reference wouldn't uh, be connected to that to this information and so uh, so make sure that you put the full stop after the sentence uh, after the reference so that it's included within that sentence there 
So that's how you put the reference in the main bit of writing. The second bit of referencing, so if we look at information here, if we go back to our, um, our template that we're using, you can see that it tells you here how to present it in the reference list. So your reference list is a second uh, um, place or it's the second half of referencing and you put one reference list at the end of your work and in that reference list you have to give all of this information. So obviously this is the model here for um, a study topic with four authors and you can see you put the surname and initial of each of the authors and the publication date and then in brackets you put the title of the study topic that it is and then um sorry not in brackets in commas uh, inverted commas and then you give the title of the book and the publication date and the pages that those um uh, that that study topic is so if i look at my document if i scroll down here we go i've got my reference list here and you can see that i've taken the information so i've got the four uh, the four authors names so there's the four authors names there hall hancock crisp and airs and i've got them here hall hancock crisp and airs i've got the date of publication i've got the study topic and the title in inverted commas then i've got the title of the book in italics i've got the publication date and i've got the pages that those uh, that that um, study topic covers and so for referencing purposes that's what you need uh, for every reference uh, that you put in your writing you need to make sure that that links to a reference in your reference list and also if you look in the study topics so if i go back to study topic three you can see um, so if I come to, um, oh, here we go, a page like this, for example, you can see that in the study topic, there's referencing evidence there. So this is a direct quotation here um, of Pollard. Um, and so in the text, you can see they've given the information about that piece of, uh, that piece of work. And at the end of the study topic, apologies, um, you, you can see they've got a reference list here. So I can see that that um, Pollard quote is backed up with information in the reference list. Um, likewise, um, so this would be an example of the kinds of um, referencing that I just showed you there. This, this um, description or this information about the zone of proximal development has been taken from this piece of work by Newman. And if I go to the back here, there's the... Um, the uh, the full um, citation for Newman there. So in essence, all you're doing is using, uh, is putting a quote in that shows where you got the information from. So that's the quote there, that uh, that's the, the reference there that shows me where that information came from. And here's the reference list that gives me the full Monty. So I hope that was helpful ish there's lots more info as well so there's a there's a recording um about lots of the other bits of referencing um available on the module website well i put a link to that on the tutor group forum and um, use the guidance there that i that i that i've got printed out and remember for this first tma it really is just to get you to have a go at referencing it's a it's a real skill it takes a long time to develop and so all we want you to be doing at this point is having a go at it so make sure you you have a go and then I can give you some feedback that will help you to develop that skill. But don't get too hung up on it. Don't be frightened of it. Yeah, the, you have to have a go and the more you do it, the easier it will become. Um, but just have a try and see how you get on. All right.